Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the differences between the DIN style connection and the yoke style connection. I do get a lot of questions for folks that are not necessarily familiar with the differences between those two different style hookups on uh, scuba regulators or scuba tanks. What I've got in front of me right here is what we call a pro valve. Now this valve is pretty much what you're going to see and basically is what you're going to see. If you were to go out on the sales floor out here and look at some of the other tanks. Now this is a, a little 13 cubic foot tank and it might be used as like a redundant air source or something. Uh, and if you look at an 80 cubic foot tank or a 63, uh, virtually all of the tanks out there use today these pro valves because they're convertible. And it's nice to have this ability, uh, especially if you're if you got other people using your tanks or maybe you've got uh, different styles of regulators for different purposes. So I'm going to be showing you the uh, yoke style connection. I'm going to show you the den style connection and the, the, the differences in them and some of the why that you're going to see that stuff out there. So we've got our, our standard uh, knob here to turn our pressure on and off. Here's our opening where the air comes out. Over here, this is the underneath that bolt or that screw is the burst disc and the burst disc depends on the pressure of the tank that it's being put on and the capacity as far as the valve is concerned. But this is a standard 3000 PSI tank and that's what we're going to be working with in this short video. Now what you notice is right in here and I'm going to get some close-ups right in here you're going to see the opening where the air comes out. You'll see the O-ring. Now, again, these O-rings, when you look at different tanks, there could be different color O-rings. This one happens to be green. You're going to see some of the Vitons that are brown. I've seen clear ones and there's black ones. This one happens to be green. If we wanted to convert this pro valve from the conventional or yoke, sometimes known as a clamp, style uh, over to the uh, DIN style. DIN means Deutsches uh, Industry Normal. Here is the opening, and if you look real close, you can see that that little center opening versus maybe some of the other tanks, and what that is for is if you take a Allen key, this is an Allen tool, a, a T-wrench. If you take the T-wrench and turn it, again, I'll turn it around so you can see it, and we turn that, then quickly the insert comes out of there. I think you can all see that. The O-ring here on the outside is to be compatible with the yoke style first stage that that clamps on here and if you look on that's on this side and you see that o-ring and if you look on this side you'll see an o-ring also and this pretty much looks like what the den regulator looks like that screws into here so right now it's set up for a den regulator and a den regulator looks just like this so I didn't bring a whole reg set out. I just brought this DIN unit. And most of these should have these little dust covers, kind of like on a regular valve, you might use a dust cover like this, and that just goes over. And what, of course, that nice thing, it protects the opening of the valve. But if you'll notice that the DIN connection and the insert they, that's what makes them look identical and work identically. All we're going to do is take and screw the DIN regulator. You just line it up. Make sure you're not cross-threading. 
your threads there. Try to keep your first stage upright. Whether, you know, again, some first stages have a turret on it. Maybe your unit is set up for turret down. Some units are set up for turret up. Some units don't have turrets on it. But you're able to screw that den into the tank valve, like what you're seeing right there. Screw it in and make it snug because, again, on the end of the den connection, is that O-ring. And this is a reason that a lot of the technical folks that use these higher pressure tanks and they do what they call K-fills, there's a lot of pressure in there. So what's happening is now that O-ring is captured inside of the valve. And I'll show you in just a second. We're gonna take this one off. You just unscrew it and it comes out. And of course, what you wanna do, you can see the O-ring in there. Put your cap back on, take the insert, put it back in place. Take my Allen key. Be careful, don't over tighten these, don't over torque them. Now, when we look at the conventional valve that most of us are familiar with here internationally, it's known as an A-clamp, kind of looks like a capital A and sometimes it's also known as a yoke valve, like maybe on a oxen's yoke, if you've ever seen that sort of thing. Here is our dust cap that fits in here, so when you unscrew the yoke knob, that's what this is, you unscrew that yoke knob, then now the, this little protector, this keeps junk, crap, whatever water from going inside of your first stage. Just flip that down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this turned around and I'm gonna drop my A-clamp over my first stage. When I drop that first stage down over my valve, if you look right here on the back of it, I think you can see that little indentation right there and on the yoke knob, I think you can see that, there's a little point. That point is gonna go into the indentation on the back of the valve. We're gonna snug it up. Again, be careful about over tightening it. This is the difference between the two different schools of thought is the O-ring that's in the valve is now actually squeezed between the first stage and the valve by snugging up the yoke knob. Most of us in the uh, US training area, now yeah, there's some of you out there that are extremely techified and you're all about the dents, and that's fine. It's not a problem. And a lot of times when you go overseas, you're going to see a combination of yokes and dens. If you have, if you've purchased a yoke type of first stage and you're going overseas, you might wanna double check what they're using at the resort or whatever it may happen to be where you're going. If you're going over there and you wanna have the best of both worlds, what you can use is a den to yoke adapter that now you can use the den anywhere. You put your yoke adapter on there and it becomes a standard yoke valve. It will make a slight bit of difference because what's happening is when you put the adapter in there, it pushes, it pushes the first stage just a little bit forward. So if you have a habit of bumping your head on the, on the first stage, watch the video about bumping your head. I'll put a link up there. But all you have to do is just drop your tank down in your BC a little bit so you're not bumping your head on the first stage. That's a little look at having either DIN or A-clamp conventional yoke style first stages and the benefit of having the nice pro style valve on the tank you buy. 
So I'm going to put links down below for all of this. And uh, we'd love to have your comments. Folks really enjoy reading the comments. Give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what I had to say, give me a thumbs down. Works either way for me. I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. Appreciate you watching. Dive safe out there. See you again soon.